Hello, this is Dr. Heather Wild, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about how our body holds emotions, especially stress. So I'll tell you a little story about my own experience within the last year where I basically gave up um, everything that was disassociating me from my body. And so I stopped drinking alcohol, I stopped using marijuana, I stopped uh, compulsively shopping and reading trashy novels, and I had to really sit with my body in a way that I hadn't done as an adult. And it was really interesting as the layers got peeled back what I had stuffed and where. And so I want to share a little bit about my experience where I would eat something healthy, right? Even at one point it was, you know, chicken broth with onions in it and, you know, some, some vegetables. And I would, my stomach would blow up like it looked like I was six months pregnant. And it was really frustrating for me because I was in the best shape of my life at this point. And these emotions needed to come up and be looked at and be uh, loved and released, honestly. And so how did I do that? Well, I cried a lot. I ran a whole bunch of testing on myself. And then I recognized that all of the stuff that was going on in my digestive system was stress. I had just stuffed all of the stress from the time that I was probably in high school into my digestive system. And so as I started really being clear about where I was experiencing my body, a lot of this you know, old trauma and old emotions started coming up. And so I think that one of the best gifts that this whole process can give you is to really get in touch with your body and recognize those feelings and let them go. And in whatever way is best, you know, do you need to beat up a couch with a wiffle ball bat? You know, is it better for you to go and break ugly dishes that you don't like? You know, how can you express this stress or this sorrow or this anger? You know, in our culture, we're taught to suppress our emotions. And in that way, when we're children, and then they grow and they grow and they grow into things that can become very unhealthy as adults, whether they're outbursts or whether they're disease. And so just for a moment, I want you to really just take a nice big deep breath and close your eyes and exhale really, really, really slowly. again. Deep breath. Hold it. And exhale really, 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 really slowly. We forget about the power of the breath. If you're feeling stressed, take three big deep breaths. Breathing can reset your entire nervous system. So can exercise, so can meditation, so can laughing. You know, call a good friend and talk about that funny thing that happened and you almost wet your pants, right? Laugh, connect, you know. This is a beautiful journey of life. And you know, the more that you know yourself and you identify these places where you need to heal on an emotional level and see where they interface with your physical level, that's where the magic of healing happens. And so before we go, let's take another nice big deep breath. And let it out really slowly. Three breaths like that in a row where you don't look at your phone or a screen or hear mama or, you know, dad or whatever it is can reset your entire nervous system and practice it during the day. Set a timer on your watch and breathe. Just breathe. And again, let's really just give the body a little bit of love about how it 
carries you around and what a good job it does. And really feel appreciation. You know, there's parts of my body that I just have had a really interesting journey in learning how to love. And when I look in the mirror, often those parts that I like the least are the ones that really jump out at me and I concentrate on. And we all do that. And instead, you know, let's really think about what a magnificent, magnificent machine this is that we get to ride around in and use and how tremendous it is that you have this body and how grateful and appreciative you are for all of its parts and their optimal functioning. And recognize for a moment what a great job you are doing, really, in caring for yourself and the time that you're spending and the energy and the resources to take care of yourself. It's a beautiful thing, and you deserve it, and great job. Just give yourself a little squeeze. Love all those parts like you would love someone that you really loved. Reflect that back on yourself, and life changes. Please let us know if you have any questions, and there are other meditations that you can contact us for if you want to work into that realm or hypnotic trances and processes in order to really get down deep into this place where we interface mind and body. This has been Dr. Heather Wild and we're going to do it together and it's going to be great.